Logic Bomb, with several of the letters being numbers in his name. I say he, I, I, I've made the assumption. Um, if I've misgendered you, I'm sorry. Um, but you made a comment on my video that really, really got me thinking. I, I've already been starting to reevaluate some things. Just when I was making that video of, uh, you know, trying to find some uh, VHS tapes, and I was at the, uh, when I was at the swap meet, walking around and just thinking about diversity, multiculturalism, because of the, uh, uh, the, uh, the swap meet is probably about somewhere between seven eighths and nine tenths uh, Mexican. And um, I, I'm glad that, that it's being utilized all the time um, and I was just thinking about you know well I'm around a bunch of people who have a different mindset a much different mindset and they may not look that favorably on someone with my mindset if they knew what my mindset was but everything was still great everything was fine And it's not like I would normally have thought, oh no, these people are going to do something to me. No, no, but it's just being there, you know, getting a reminder was helpful. And so I, I start, that's when, that day was when I started to really think about some of this stuff more. But, but uh, Logic Bomb's comment asking, you know, what happened? You know, I, I seem so angry now. And he watched the, the, me sort of transform into this, and, and it, it concerns him. And he really showed a lot of compassion in, 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 in his comment. And the way I had uh, answered it, it was like I was saying that my only reason for existing is to push out, you know, to push against this stuff that I'm seeing in front of me. I think that's when I, uh, I, I think I became conspiratorial at that point. That's what becoming conspiratorial is all about, is, is suddenly, is, you know, when there's this, when you change over to something that says that your your only worth is to to expose something mess that's messed that's 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 not that's not a way to live and it's not really a good message either right now so many people and I definitely include myself in this are not people just are not able to discuss politics in a reasonable way right now at this time it's just it's just not going to happen everything is so volatile everything you're not going to be able to re re be reasonable people aren't going to be able to be reasonable under those conditions and i include myself in that many people like myself have been, you know, we've we've stated what it is that we're worried about. We've made our statements. I think people may have actually heard us. They may not listen, but they heard us. And if things go the way that many of us are saying that it looks like they're going to go, um, that would be the time when you go, oh, that's what they meant. But things may not go that way. There have been some positive things. You know, uh, like if, if, as it had been said on my video about the Johnson Amendment, if Trump was to try to destroy the Johnson Amendment, 
there will be judges that will step in, just like there have been judges to step in when it comes to the immigration ban. There will be people stepping in. And I had lost faith in the system for a while there. I had completely lost faith in the system. What I think needs to happen is people need to talk more about the, how, hey, there are these checks and balances. Remember the checks and balances. But that unfortunately isn't the main message that is being shown forth. But I realize that it's that we have the checks and balances. I wasn't looking at it much before, but I, you know, fully realize it now. The way this country is set up, it's uh, probably going to prevent someone from truly becoming a dictator. I think more people are, are watching Trump than I wanted to give credit for. When it comes to people who make a living off of bullying others and people who, ju who make a living off of being mean on uh, social, uh, you know, platforms, you know, mostly YouTube, or people who just simply get off on being mean to others, I think they're just going to dig their own graves when it comes to these platforms. And they can scream that, uh, oh, that's uh, their freedom of speech is being taken away. Well, it's not your legal freedom of speech, because you still have that. Well, these platforms shouldn't uh, be shoving forth just certain things. Well, they don't. It's the behavior that's the problem. You can have a differing opinion, but you, you don't have to be bullying in order to do it. And if you know that the result of the bullying that you do is going to have a bunch of people then piling onto someone, whether or not, I mean, you know what the result is. And if you know what the result is, why do some of those things? Well, because it makes money. And you think somehow that you, you've been able to legitimize in your head that it's, you know, it's doing more good than harm. Well, people disagree. I don't think it should even have to come to a point where people start getting banned. I think it'd be nice if, if things were different, if people weren't like people. It'd be nice. I wish people weren't like people. I wish humans weren't like humans. I wish humans were better than, than what they are. But that's not going to happen. And so on these platforms that we use that we don't own, I mean, there might be some people who could say that, uh, well, they own stock, big. they own a lot of stock in Google, they own a lot of stock on Twitter, or they own a lot of stock of, on Facebook, right? Well, yeah, you could say, well, yeah, they uh, they they need to pay attention to their shareholders. But very few of you would be even able to, able to say that. So when censorship starts to show itself on this platform, when it really starts to kick into place against those that are you know, making a living off of bullying, um, I'm not going to speak out against it, honestly. I'm not going to speak out against it. Because again, you can talk about any subject in a, in a respectful way. Any subject. A racist, a, a someone who literally says that they're racist, can discuss these subjects in reasonable ways. The problem will be if they start to say that, uh, well, you know, I think all these people should die. Yeah, that's a problem. You can say, well, that's censorship all you want, it, it, and you're right, it is censorship. It's not, however, a legal violation of your freedom of speech. 
you still have your freedom of speech. You're not going to be thrown in jail for something that you say on the internet in this country. There are other places where people are being thrown in jail for things that they say on the internet, and I think that's wrong. I think it's awful. I mean, unless it's actual death threats and, and with and mixed with dock dropping or telling people to go kill someone and then you give their address, it's something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's that, you know, yeah, go to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. But I, I don't need to talk about people that uh, that bully others. There, there's, you know... There's no point in that either. It's this. It's just as fruitful as currently talking about politics. Just as, well, fruit, <laughs> fruitless. There's no point. You know, it's pick a side. You're either with us or you're against us. Same sort of thing. So, yeah. And I can just see that, you know, well, the reality that's coming for those that continue to think that the bullying thing is is cool you know you're gonna get censored I'm not gonna be the one to censor you but you're gonna get censored and you can whine and complain all you want and it's about as useful or useless as uh, protesting someone becoming president I must admit the uh, I have a desire to, to do some of the same things that I've seen others do towards those who are distraught over, you know, political things, where they say, suck it up, buttercup. You know, I, I would have a desire to say to someone who got banned from, you know, one of the, the social media platforms for bullying others, um, my, I, I'd have a desire to tell them, Suck it up, buttercup. Is that right? No, it isn't. It's just as mean-spirited as they are. The fact that I've said aloud that I'd like to, uh, you know, I'd like to say this about them is the same thing as saying it, really. You know, maybe not technically, but overall, it's the same thing as just actually saying it. But it's going to be funny to watch the checks and balances on social media platforms weed out the shit it's going to be interesting watching that it's also going to be interesting watching the checks and balances in the government weed out the shit if we're to push forth a positive message to try to calm people down i think the most important one is that look at the checks and balances. Remember, we have these checks and balances. Have at least a little bit of faith that the checks and balances uh, will stop really bad things from occurring in this country, that uh, we really do have a decent base of a government that can stop some of the things that would destroy another country from destroying ours. That's the message I think we should be pushing the most when it comes to trying to cut back on those who may become violent or may have already been violent. So the answer to that question, why am I so angry? I can list the reasons why I was so angry. Parts of me still are angry, but I've, I've taken it a little different approach. But uh, the reasons why I was angry is watching people who have known each other and have been friends for 30 years, you know, just watching their friendships dissolve, watching countless friendships dissolve over politics, watching people sort of who seemed very compassionate and empathetic turn to a bullying kind of mindset. Now I'd like to focus a little more on you know, there, there could be social commentary, but it's not, it's not the kind that would go into something that would get overly volatile. Because once things get volatile, there, there's, 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 no, there's no real discussion to be had. And I definitely include myself on this. But then other things that I can do more good and see, get people to see things more would be from you know, artistic and creative things. If I can get people to see patterns they normally wouldn't by visually putting 
things together on the screen, things that you wouldn't really, words wouldn't describe very well. And you know what? I'm not that very good with words. I don't have a very big vocabulary. I may speak clearly. I may pronounce, I may enunciate clearly, but I'm not very good with words. That's why I have so many pauses. That's why it's so hard for me to find the correct word to use to describe what I'm trying to say. But if I go with visuals and things that, and, and audibles, I can probably have a lot more of an effect than I can with words when it comes to volatile issues. And so that's the way that I want to continue to, because I've done that already in, in a lot of my, uh, my, my comedy videos. There's a lot of stuff that I, that I, that I squeeze in there. And they're not necessarily the, the they're, they're not these standard narratives. It's just like, well, have you looked at these patterns before? And some of those things is what makes it funny because of the absurdity of it all. The absurdity of, of some of the patterns we have. And then also, you know, the entertaining part is just the absurdity of sometimes putting things together that don't belong together. So, and then my music, which has been... I'm trying to learn the program called Radium again. And it's it's been a pain but it's the it's the program that's going to do what I want the most it has the options that I want the most it's a tracker that I can do any sort of slides that I want but it's not it crosses a tracker program with a regular digital audio workstation just sort of combines them together there's still if I want to record vocals I'll still want to do that on uh, on, a, on a different program like Reaper or something for actually creating the, the, the music that has all the options I want they're just hard to get to, hard to use the interface is kind of antiquated but it, uh, in some areas in other areas it's, it's ingenious so but I, wa I want to work on that some more there's a, there's a project that I'm, I'm working on but I don't want to share because so often when I share a project that I haven't finished, then I end up not finishing it. Because I end up thinking, oh, well, look, they, they heard kind of the idea and, and now, okay, let's move on to something else. So, so I have reservations about, about sharing some of these unfinished ideas because, again, what happens so often on them.